And, um, um, and of course, the other thing about running is that I think a lot of people run incorrectly today. So, uh, so that's why we started studying barefoot running millions, of, you know, a long, t- a few, a bunch of few decades ago is because if humans have been running for millions of years, most of that time we were running barefoot. So we're kind of curious, how did people run before shoes? And what we learned was that today shoes have these cushioned heels that enable you to essentially run the way you walk, right? You land on your heel. And everybody who's barefoot sometimes lands on their heel, but people who are barefoot often, more often than not, land on the ball of their foot and then, then let their heel down. It's called a forefoot strike or a midfoot strike. And when you do that, we worked out the biomechanics of that and published a paper on the cover of Nature showing that when you do that, you actually prevent your foot from crashing into the ground, causing what's called an impact peak, a, a collisional force. You run lightly and gently. So if you were to take your shoes off and run up Lexington Avenue here, I guarantee you, you would not be landing on your heels. Bef- within a few steps, you'd start landing on the ball of your foot because it hurts less. And so that's how we evolved to run. You, we evolved to run in a, cush- in a, in a way that that doesn't involve, you know, slamming into the ground with every step. 